Good morning, your friend Dr. Salim is here with you guys. Today's information is a short information, but maybe it's important for some of you guys, especially those doctors who are working in the radiology department, specifically if you work for the ultrasound department. So the question is, uh, what is a duty factor? Some of the doctors, some of the healthcare providers, they were asking if I could explain a little bit about the duty factor. Okay, duty factor. Let's define this a little definition, like a simple and quickly. Duty factor is the time percentage. It's the percentage of a time when the sound is sending in a position of or in a mood of a transmission to the tissue. When the sound is leaving the transducer and entering to the tissue that is the time, how much time it takes, that percentage of the time, that's called duty factor. Now, we have two types of ultrasound, as you know. One is pulse wave ultrasound, and the other one is a continuous wave ultrasound. For the pulse wave ultrasound, we all know, pulse wave ultrasound system is using one crystal system. It means that the same crystal has to send the pulses to the tissue, and the same crystal, because it's a one crystal system, it has to listen back to the returning echoes for those reflection which is coming back. So, less than 1% of time, the, the pulse wave ultrasound is in a transmission mode. But, 99 or more than 99% of time, they spend 99 or more than 99% of time for the listening, for the returning echoes, to read them. So that's why, they have a listening time. They spend more time on the listening time. Less percent of time, like 1% or less than 1% of the time period, they spend it on the transmission. So that is the reason we have picture, image, and the uh, pulse wave ultrasound. Opposite of this, we have another modality. It's called uh, continuous wave ultrasound. So in the continuous wave ultrasound, as you all know, it is using two crystal system. One crystal will continuously sending the pulses to the tissue and the other one will continuously listening. So here we can say on this pulse, which is continuously sending the pulses to the tissue, it means there is no listening time on that. It's continuously less, just sending the pulses. So it means there is no image creation. So now let's put everything together and briefly say it this way, that the duty factor for the pulse wave ultrasound is 1% or even less than 1%. And duty factor for the continuous wave ultrasounds is 100%. So now, once again, extra information is that pulse wave ultrasound will create a picture because they spend more time on the listening. 99% or more than 99%. But Continuous wave ultrasound, they spend the whole time 100% on sending. So this way, there is no picture. So we do not have a picture. There is no picture or image creation on the continuous wave ultrasound. We only use that for the velocity measurements. But pulse wave ultrasound, all these 2D images, uh, you see color Doppler, all these, they are the pulse wave ultrasound. And that is the duty factor. Once again, at the end, duty factor for the pulse wave ultrasound is 1% or less than 1%. It means the machine will spend 1% or less than 1% of the time on the sending. We are talking about the sending. And then the continuous wave ultrasound will have 100% of the duty factor. So this information may help you on your national or international exams if you want to say for that. Or maybe if you are a trainer, a teacher, it may help you. So once again, I always say this. If you think these informations are helpful and helping you or your other colleagues, please do not hesitate to share these clips with them also if they are in the same field. And please tell them to subscribe the channel as well. Thanks a lot and uh, wait for the upcoming more videos. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.